Hello everyone, this is Humam from AYBFM 101.5 and today we have a guest that we had before, which is I really appreciate, uh, Dr. Allison, the Dean of the College of uh, Education and Human Development and the chairholder of the UNESCO Chair of Education and Wellbeing, right? Yes, so, thank you, Humam. I'm so excited to be back here again. Yeah, I know that our listeners, some of them, back in the day, uh -huh. they know who Allison is. But can you tell us again for the new listeners? Yes, of course. So in January, we started our brand new College of Education and Human Design here at AUIB. Mm -hmm. And we've just finished our first semester with our incoming class. And we're so proud of uh, their performance here, both learning English to get mm -hmm. ready for classes and, and everything else. So yeah. Um, amazing. Yeah. In collaboration with Vanderbilt University Peabody College of Education, right? Right. So a U.S. grant that the university received allows them to create the program in collaboration with Vanderbilt uh, in Tennessee, um, in the United States. In mm -hmm. fact, they were just here a couple of weeks ago, yeah. and you had the chance to yeah. interview them. With Nancy Dixon, right. And yeah. I was wearing the Nashville, Tennessee radio t-shirt yesterday. I was so happy with it. Anyways, so today's uh, topic is not about the College of mm -hmm. Education, but rather with about the UNESCO chair that we just had here on AUIB campus. Mm -hmm. So can you, like, before diving deep into details about the UNESCO chair that we have here, mm -hmm. can you give us, like, an overall overview of what the UNESCO chair really is? Yeah, of course, Humam. So UNESCO has designed a program. They call it UNESCO Chairs, mm -hmm. and they unite universities and academics from all over the world on some really important um uh, topics. Mm -hmm. And so in by doing this, they can build on research and put together teams to really rapidly make changes in the areas of policy and practice. Amazing. Yeah. So uh, we have a chair here on AUIB campus, mm -hmm. but how many chairs do we have in Iraq? In Iraq, we have four chairs. Mm -hmm. Our first chair was created in 2000. 16 and Dr. Hassam Nadam, who is currently on the faculty and uh, vice president for AUIB, was the inaugural chair for UNESCO here in Iraq. Mm -hmm. And um, so we're working with other universities here at Baghdad and in Kufa, Kufa and Mosul yeah. in order to collaborate to build together. Mm -hmm. So uh, now let's talk about the UNESCO chair that we have here. What uh, makes our chair here different than other chairs in other universities in Iraq? So the chair that we have is um, education for health and wellness, mm -hmm. whereas other chairs um, have been designed around culture and um, genocide and um, environmental issues. Mm -hmm. This one is really focused on how do we implement all of these things to help people. Mm. Um, and so it's combining these topics of education, mm. wellness, and health all together. Yeah, and I know that w the well-being of our students is one of our top priorities here at AOIV. Um, so what is the main mission of the UNESCO Chair on Education and Well-Being here at AUIB? So I have the privilege of leading a really diverse and um, accomplished team. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have individuals from our health colleges mm -hmm. and from science and education in order to unite our work together on mm -hmm. sort of a singular purpose. And the purpose is really helping uh, the ministry with particular challenges that they have in policy so that we can build the research to support them in the direction that Iraq would like to move. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Um, how does uh, how is the UNESCO chair funded? Is there any like is it funded by organizations, by the government? And how does it work? So the biggest benefit that UNESCO brings is that organizational structure. Uh, we have partners in Japan and a partner in Italy on mm -hmm. the same topic. Mm. But the funding comes completely from the university. So AU by AUIB has committed to fund um, this mm. work in order to support the topic that UNESCO mm. has given to us. Mm. So, so AUIB is the main uh, funder. 
Yeah, AUIB is the main funder, so we're Amazing. very thankful for that work. Amazing. So what are the resources available in this initiative? Mm -hmm. Is there any resources that are available for everyone? Um, right now, the resources that we'll draw upon are the time and the energy and of our researchers and our faculty here mm -hmm. at AUIB. Mm -hmm. And also all of the work that has been done across the world to think about the integration of education, health, and well-being. Mm. And eventually, when we create um, our work, we will share that with others so that mm -hmm. they then can build on, mm -hmm. on the work that we do. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I know that the team of the UNESCO chair mm -hmm. here at AYB is a combination of maybe professionals and faculty members, mm -hmm. but is there any spots for students so the team itself, you're right, is made up of not only faculty, but I'll say that the, the higher education administration experts here. Mm -hmm. And so we have um, Iraqi staff who are working with us very closely because we're trying to share that knowledge. Mm -hmm. For the students, we have the opportunity to involve them in the research that we do. Mm. And so when we set up workshops, we will use students to understand how to set up research and how to uh, be involved in developing that knowledge generation. Mm -hmm. And I, was, I would consider that, if I was a student, I would consider this as an extracurricular activity out of the class, right? Yep. So we're really excited about providing these opportunities to students mm -hmm. so that they can apply their knowledge from the classroom and working with professionals. Mm -hmm. It helps them better understand what they want to do with their knowledge after they graduate and what kind of a job they'd like to get. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. um, what are the future uh, plans and maybe strategic goals of the UNESCO Chair of Education and Wellbeing here at AOIB? So, great question. We will, of course, be publishing our work. Mm -hmm. We will be working closely with policymakers mm -hmm. to um, understand what direction and how they might move to achieve some of their goals. We'll have an annual conference every year. Mm -hmm. um, and then one of the other things we're working on is what does an academic curriculum look like mm -hmm. on this topic? Mm -hmm. So that when other universities want to create classes, they can come to AUIB as the experts mm -hmm. and we can um, help them design those. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, means that our students will be going through that as well. Mm -hmm. And I think the College of Education and Human Development will play a very big role in developing the initiatives that a the UNESCO chair has. Right. Right. So all of our work is about how to design problems inside yeah. of the educational space. Mm -hmm. And we're thrilled that our students will be able to participate in um, creating answers to some of these design questions. Mm -hmm. So is any any university or college uh, are able to collaborate with us at AUIB or only the ones that have UNESCO chairs? You know, we invite all colleges and researchers across the world, including mm -hmm. Iraq, to participate and partner with us mm. because we know that this is a big problem and yeah. that we need to work together to solve this. Definitely. Yeah. Um, is there anything that I forgot to mention about the UNESCO chair that you would like to add? I'll just say that we're very proud of Iraq receiving its fourth UNESCO chair, yeah. and we're looking forward to helping other universities achieve one as well. Yeah. So that's great, and that's um, and more news to come as yeah, we move definitely. forward. Yeah. And we're so proud that AUIB had the chance and opportunity to receive that chair, and specifically for on education and well-being, which I think is your. Um, expertise and you can take care of that right yeah we're we're thrilled about that and i will mention that um we're looking forward to achieving another grant from mm -hmm. the u.s state department and if so that means then that we'll be able to offer master's degrees incredible for, yeah for higher education administration and mm -hmm. strategic leadership so wow we're incredible AUIB we're so is excited. growing we're so excited to witness the great achievements that uh, will happen at AUIB, and I, I want to say thank you for making that possible. Oh, I am I'm privileged to be able to be here <laughs> yeah. and work with such a fabulous group of students and 
uh, faculty and, of mm. course, AUIB-FM. And AUIB-FM will be always proud and glad to have you here to highlight all of these achievements and initiatives and all the plans. So you feel free to come here whenever you want and we'll feel uh, be happy to provide you with all the services. Thank you, Humam. It's thank always you. great to be here. So thank you so much for being in our studio and we're so proud uh, of you and we're proud of AUIB and all the accomplishments that they've made so far. Shukran, I appreciate it. Shukran, thank you. Thank you.